Welcome to the Digital Days Digital Lesson Series. In this lesson, we're going to cover a series of simple tips that will make your pictures better in just a few minutes. First, get closer. Most pictures can be improved by simply getting closer to the subject. That means there'll be a larger part of the image and there will be less around them that could be distracting. Next, think about the flash. Turn on the flash outdoors. When you're in bright sunlight, you can have harsh shadows that hide people's faces. If you're within 10 feet of your subjects, try turning the flash on to add light to their faces. Pros call this fill flash. Turn the flash off indoors. Unless it's really dark inside, you can often get nice photos without flash, which will look more natural. To make that easier, raise your camera's ISO indoors. Digital cameras make it easy to change the ISO, which is a setting that determines how sensitive the camera is to light. The higher the ISO, the less light the camera needs. Raising the ISO to 800 or above can be the difference between a sharp or blurry photo, as the higher ISO will let the camera use a faster shutter speed. Play with white balance. Every digital camera has a white balance control which is there to try to get the color right. You can change it though and get a different look. The cloudy or shady settings will create warmer colors, meaning more yellow and red, which can be great for sunsets. The incandescent or tungsten and fluorescent settings can also be used other times when you want a blue cast to your images. Now let's talk about composition. Look around the edges of the frame Often you won't notice something while shooting the picture that bothers you later. Are there limbs or poles coming in from the side? Is there a bright or colorful feature that people will look at instead of the subject? Decide what you really want in that frame before you push the shutter button, then adjust for it by zooming or changing your position. Make sure there aren't trees, power lines, or poles growing out of your subject's head. Try different angles. Don't shoot every photo from eye level. Try getting lower by kneeling down or higher by raising the camera above your head. If there are stairs or a balcony, go up to shoot. Try putting the camera on the ground and aiming it up at the subject. It may take a few tries to get it perfect, but since it's digital, you can just delete the photos that don't work. Shoot vertical. Much of what we see visually is horizontal, on television, in the movies, or on computer screens but there's no reason you can't turn a camera sideways and shoot a vertical. Take advantage of the different shapes you can create, which will give more variety to your photos. When photographing people, watch for reactions. Don't just shoot someone opening a present, but watch their face and try to shoot their surprise or joy. If a child is working on a puzzle, look for a moment when they're concentrating on it. When grandparents and grandkids are together, look for those special moments between the two. Jazz up your group shots by having some people sit, some stand, some kneel or lie on the floor. And after you've got a few good shots, ask everyone to be silly for one. Those often make the best pictures. That's also a great way to get a fun shot of kids together. So remember, get closer. Turn the flash on outdoors. Turn the flash off indoors. Raise your camera's ISO indoors. Play with white balance. Check the edges of your frame. Try different angles. Shoot vertically. Watch for reactions. And jazz up your group shots. Take a few minutes to think about these tips, keep them in mind when you shoot, and all your pictures will be better. Check out our other Digital Days digital lessons for more ways to take great pictures. And don't forget to check out our website at www.digitaldaysphoto.com.